Morning guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is... Are you looking for a new job? At CV Library, oh, you thousands of jobs. Morning guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Right now, I'm just moving the cars about so I can get this one out. So let's do that now, let's get this out and then let's head off because I've jumped up a little bit later than I should have because I kept pressing snooze on the alarm, which is a first for me. So after being on early's for the last two weeks, being on late, this is a little change of pace for me. So uh, let's get in the car, let's go home and we'll talk there. Let's go. Also as well later on, got a little package to open. So that's in the door. Oh my god, Sony focus! Okay, so I've made it home. Now, what I want to talk to you, basically, I could have done a full daily vlog today, but obviously with being in work and stuff like that, it wouldn't have gone to plan. So, I'm going to do, obviously, stories again this week with being on the late, but tonight's not really a story. It's more of a time to address something. Like, I'll open that when we get upstairs, basically, when we've got some light, because this, you know, it's not going to work properly. So we'll do that in a minute. Addressing a few things that I've seen lately in the comment section. Now, the main one is saying that I've got no passion for anything. Now, that's just like what I said to you like the, the other day in the video. It's having a niche. Now, the niche for me is a few different things. You know, it's Orlando, it's cars, it's technology, it's the vlogs. I'm passionate about these vlogs. I am really passionate about them i'm very much so almost not happy that i'm walking away from it in december that's how that's how passionate i am about the daily vlogs but then it's having something where i can say i'm not in work anymore the channel's big enough and stuff like that but it's not right now so that's why i need to carry on doing what i'm doing and then hopefully one day when i, I can bring the vlogs back properly the channel will be big enough where i can go back to daily vlogging and we're doing different things every day every week going to events going to car press launches going to all kinds you know that's the day i'm looking forward to and i'm constantly working behind the scenes on like emails building relationships with pr companies building relationships with the actual marketing managers for these companies i'm always building i'm always trying to better myself the passion doesn't come from having one thing that i'm passionate about the passion comes from me desire to go and work and go and do something. Now, there was a thing that popped up on Twitter a few days ago, well, over the weekend. And what it was, someone had made a comment about how people on YouTube are self-righteous and stuff like that. You know, and, you know, why don't you go and get a normal 9 to 5 job and stuff like that. But what people are forgetting is people that have made it on YouTube had nine to five jobs you know they were coming home doing videos the way that i'm doing it they were going to work they were coming home doing videos they were going home coming home doing videos they were always thinking about videos they were always thinking about how they can build a channel how can they can build a business that's what they're always thinking about and that's their that's their goal and they've made their goal now the, the fact of the matter is is that now i've got a i've got to go through that to get there you know, I could have just stayed doing the, the tech videos. I could have just carried on doing them. Forgot about the vlogs completely. Now, as some of you know, I tried the vlogs last year and fell flat on my face. Because, obviously, I wasn't feeling 100% myself then. I wasn't comfortable behind the camera. I wasn't comfortable in front of the camera. I just wasn't comfortable in general doing the, the, the videos. That's why I walked away for six months and came back again. Because YouTube is something that I'm passionate about. YouTube as a whole is what I'm passionate about. Twitter, I'm passionate about Twitter. I'm passionate about my Orlando Toro stuff on Twitter. I'm passionate about Instagram, about sharing photos that I've taken. For someone else to turn around and say, why don't you go and get a, a normal job and stuff like that, and that they hate people on YouTube and stuff. But I hate my job. I physically hate my job, right? I physically hate it with a passion. Now... That's not to say that I'm not happy I've got a job, because at the end of the day I've got a job, I'm paying bills, I'm paying for this one I'm sitting in right now. 
However, I also do YouTube, I also do photography, and I also blog from all my Orlando stuff. I'm also working on different things behind the scene, like trying to develop Orlando Tourist, trying to develop this channel. Orlando Tourist, I want it to be a one-stop shop where you can come and buy tickets and stuff like that. That's what I want Orlando Tourist to be, and that's what I'm working towards. So for someone to say that all YouTubers do is get up out of bed and think about making a video, some YouTubers don't actually do that. I, I, I fully agree with about a little tiny percentage of YouTubers do that. They get up, don't do nothing and make a video. I get up, I go to work, I do all my business stuff. There's other YouTubers out there that do exactly the same. They've came from normal 9 to 5 jobs or shift work, stuff like that. They've made it, they know what they want in life and they've gone after it. They get to sleep in now and again, they have to get up early now and again, they have to catch flights to different places to attend events. That is just the way it works. Now for some people to say that I'm not passionate about stuff, I am. I've got so much passion, it's unbelievable. And the passion, if, as I said to you, is Orlando Tourist, car reviews, tech reviews, vlogs, YouTube in general. Anything that I can put on YouTube, I'm going to put on YouTube. There's no, there's no one going to stop me putting stuff on YouTube. There's no hate or negativity that's going to stop me putting stuff on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is now, we're going to go inside, I'm going to put the lights on, we're going to... Unwrap this and find out what it is. I think I already know what it is. I think it's something I've... It feels like something that I would have ordered. I'll talk to you about it inside. So let's go. This could work. Not with the glasses on though. Forget the glasses. So this could work. Well basically what this is for is for when I'm driving. For POV style stuff with the GoPro, as I already had one of these, but I gave it away, and that's what I do. You know, I'm a nice person. I give stuff away, and then realise I probably would have needed that in the future. So that's why I bought another one. But it's to go with something. So let me just get it. And obviously, you're not going to see the black line because you're just going to think it's the car. But for POV style stuff, for while I'm driving, obviously you can't see the stupid strap because of the black car. But the GoPro is going to sit here or facing down, so it's like going to sit there type of thing for POV style stuff and also for unboxing videos for another angle. Like I said to you, I want an A cam, B cam, C cam, so Canon's A cam, Sony's B cam, GoPro C cam. So you're going to get a point of view style from an unboxing perspective. So I hope this works out, but this is obviously for the tech videos and stuff and the car videos. So I hope you're looking forward to that, guys. But I'm going to go and end today's video here. I'm going to go and chill out now. I've just got home from work, so time to relax. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all first thing in the morning. Take care, guys. See you all later.